Okay, so uh, this is step one of making a linear or a straight on piece of level design. So we are in Unity and I've got my four basic facades. Um, so this is still a prefab. I brought this in from Maya and they're all attached. So what we can do is we can unpack prefab. Okay, so we should now have these separate um, so I'm just going to put these together quickly, so I'm using V, if you look at the uh, keyboard here, if you're stuck, uh, keyboard, or if you look at the key presses, um, so press V again, let's get that corner there, stick it on there, happy days, so you have to make sure you are, if you've got relatively complex geometry, you need to make sure that you are uh, snapping it to the right vertex, because you don't want to be snapping it to this vertex, for instance, Right, so, and then let's move this up, press V, drag it onto here, so again that looks a little bit ropey, I'm going to put it in this, so I have actually put that in a different, so I have actually snapped that to the wrong vertex, so let's just get that back there, like so, <coughs> okay, so now we've got our little uh, street. So this is the kind of the uh, modular assets that I've just created for the street. So uh, this is going to be kind of post-apocalyptic or so Silent Hill, so Silent, Silent Hill-esque. So what we really need to do next is we need to probably make these textures a bit more grubby. Uh, and a quick way of doing that is if you so as I discussed last week. Um, you probably want to go and just get yourself onto textures.com or some other asset site. So you need to log in and make an account to get free textures off this site. But this is seamless, which means that it is wraparoundable, which means we don't have to fiddle with it. So a quick way of doing this, I'm just this is very basic, but uh, what I'm going to do is if I just cut that. And then we, I don't know what's going on with my Photoshop windows, they've all gone nutty. So just paste that on there. <coughs> so that is a different size, so I might have to just scale that up to uh, the same size. So I'm just doing this kind of roughly, so, but obviously, this, this is a wrappable seamless texture, so I need to make sure that we fill the image that there's no gaps um, what I mean is that when I paste this down as a texture I need to make sure that this edge is snapping to this edge and there's no gap between it uh, so next up let's just go over to our layer options and if we go to something like uh, overlay uh, so again you know this is a very basic technique that uh, we used since 1962 uh, and it just gives you the impression of kind of run down, uh, grubby. It's a very quick way of making things look run down, burnt out, messed up. Okay, so I'm just going to apply this to all of these textures uh, just to make them look like they're run down. And then what I will do is um, I will take them back into Unity and just apply them to this uh, shop front um, so that we get it looking a bit more post apocalyptic. Thanks.